The man who triggered a wild pursuit and shootout with Post Falls Police back in June now wants all charges dropped against him. Marcus Rael has filed a motion asking the court to dismiss a 12 count grand jury indictment that accuses Rael of trying to kill the officers. In a story you'll only see on KXLY4, Jeff Humphrey is here with a look at Rael's latest legal maneuver. Jeff. And Aaron, it's been six months since the shootout with Royale shut down Interstate 90 for more than 12 hours during a busy summer weekend. Along the way, his attorney has asked that Royale be released on his own recognizance several times and now wants the grand jury indictment against his client dismissed altogether. June 22nd, a Coeur d'Alene police officer tries to pull over Marcus Rial on Sherman Avenue because he suspects Rial is drunk driving. Rial bolts from the traffic stop and gets on Interstate 90. Mr. Rial was driving westbound when, when he saw the officers, he pulled off of the highway and that's when he started shooting at the officers prior to him crashing into the Jersey barrier. A cell phone captured what happened after Rael fired at officers a second time and after seeing this video along with recordings made by Dash and body cams, a Cooney County grand jury indicted Rael on 12 counts of attempted murder in August. During the past four months, Rael's attorney has spent a lot of time and money going through 525 pages of transcripts of the grand jury proceedings and he's allegedly found prosecutorial misconduct, specifically that prosecutors improperly advised the grand jury as to the specific intent required for an indictment. If the grand jury really did get bad information, the indictment against Rael could be dismissed. The people who investigated this shooting said police resisted firing back at Rael, even though he had already shot at them on the interstate. And that the officers did uh, try to talk him out of giving up his weapons and come out. And that was prior to any of the officers on scene shooting at him. So there was an effort to to de-escalate the situation. So now prosecutors have to file a response to Rael's motion. In the event a judge agrees to dismiss Rael's indictment, he can still be charged again, either by convening a new grand jury or by way of complaint. In the meantime, Rael's being held in lieu of a $2 million bond. Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.